Hey everyone, I'm StarTalk from FTC Team 9794 Wizards.exe. Welcome to our fourth and final part of our OpenCV for FTC video series. In this video, we're going to show you guys how to use Vuforia with the Doge CV library at the same time. For those of you who do not know what Vuforia is, it is basically a library that will identify the vision targets that have been placed along the field perimeter in each match. And when it's detected, it will return your location relative to the target, which means it will return an X, Y, and Z coordinate. And it will also return your angle um, of your phone relative to the target. Um, now we can go ahead and get started. So we'll just open up our Android Studio project. And there are going to be two Java classes that we're going to be going to take a look at today. The first class is called Doge for you. And we can find this if we go to Doge CV module. So under Java, and then under this package, you'll see Doge for you. Just double click it to open it. And if you scroll through it, um, your first uh, impressions or the first thing you think is that this looks awfully familiar. And that would be because that a lot of the code that we have in here and in the different methods is the same as what we saw in the different detectors that we looked at in the previous in the two previous videos. And um, this is because the class extends the Vuforia localizer uh, implementation class, which gives it the functionality and methods of the Vuforia class. And then because we have added these methods for the image processing, then it also adds the behaviors for the and methods of the Doge CV detector. So that's why you recognize some of that. So basically, we've combined the Vuforia implementation and a doge cv detector into one java class so to test this out um, we're going to have to get an example class that's been provided to us in the doge cv library so if you remember where you kept your doge cv master folder you can just navigate to that so mine's on my desktop doge cv master and under examples you'll see a class called euphoria phone testing this is what we want to do, so we can just copy this. If we just go back to Android Studio, go into Team Code, and to our main package, we can just right-click and paste that in there. And we can just keep the name as the same thing. And then once that loads in, uh, we can start to take a look at what is going on in this class. So if we jump into the init method, this these two blocks of code and all of this right here and even right below that is where we're configuring our Vuforia settings. So over here we're just passing in our camera monitor. Um, we're giving it a, a license key which allows us to use the Vuforia targets and the library. And then over here we're creating our Dogeforia object which allows us to integrate the Vuforia parameters which we just defined above here and the Doge CV detector, which we'll add into this class in just a little bit. But then uh, over here, what we're essentially doing is accessing the different targets and the files needed to read the targets and setting the names over there so we can identify them. And then over here, we're setting the location of each of the targets so that way when we detect it, um, the phone can make the calculations as to what is the XYZ coordinate and what is the angle. So essentially we're just setting up the location of these different targets. And then uh, right over here, you'll see that this is very similar to uh, setting up the detector that we did in the two previous videos. And so we're just creating a new gold align detector so that we can detect the gold mineral. Uh, we're setting up the filter and the scoring method we're gonna use. And then we set the Doge CV detector and we pass in this um, gold mineral, gold align detector into the Doge Foria object that we've created, so that now it has both the ability to read the Vuforia targets, and now it can use a Doge CV detector to detect a block. And the main idea or application of this is you can use the same object in the same program to maybe take a look at the Vuforia target to see where you are on the field after you've dropped from the lander because that might mean that your robot's in an unpredictable location. But then you can keep using that program to detect 
the block, which is probably the next step you're going to do in autonomous, which creates a very efficient way for you to do it, and a pretty, a pretty simple way too once we understand all what's going on here. So then in this method over here, or in this loop over here, um, what's happening over here is it's just going through the list of all the targets and seeing is there a visible target, and if there is, it's going to get the name and the location and store that into this location object right here. And if the target is visible, it's going to add all the positional information we need, as well as the target name. And if there is no target visible, it'll just say that there's no visible target. Now, the pieces of information we don't have here is what is the um, position of the gold mineral, which if we want to detect that, that's some pretty useful information. So we can just add a couple lines over here. We just say, um, uh, telemetry dot add data gold mineral x position and then if we just call detector dot get x position we'll have that over there and then we want to put it both here uh, in the if target is visible block and the else block because we always want to be returning that x position if it can see it and then it's just going to update the telemetry. And then, so now we've gotten both the Vuforia information and the gold mineral uh, information with the X position, X position being returned to the driver station form in the form of telemetry data. So we just go to the top to make sure that it's in the op mode register, which it is. And then we can go ahead and download that program to your phone. And then once that finishes up, we'll test it out. All right, so once it finishes downloading, uh, you should go ahead and pull up your robot controller and driver station phone. I'll pull up my screen so you guys can see what's going on. So now if we go into our teleop menu, and then you see the class Vuforia phone testing, that's where we want to start. And we will initialize it. And then we can go ahead and press play. So now, what you'll see here is that um, it on the phone screen you can see the name of the before your target is detecting, and you can see that um, it's giving you the target name, your X, Y, and Z position related to that, and also the angle of rotation relative to uh, the target in each of the X, Y, and Z directions. And then, so if I pull my phone away from that and then drag it over to the gold mineral, you'll see that it has identified the gold mineral and is returning that X position over there. So we're getting both the functionality of a gold mineral detector and we're able to see the different uh, Vuforia targets also. And if we go back over here, the uh, the program is able to detect all, t all the uh, different targets we have. So you see that this identifies as the blue rover and this has the craters. And this is the red footprint, or the moon landing. So one of the problems you notice in at least this uh, vision target for the craters is that the uh, Doge CV detector is identifying some pieces of that Vuforia target as a gold mineral. Because you can see it's returning an X position. So just be mindful when you're, look when you're intending to look at a target that you may end up seeing something... You might... You may end up seeing like a gold a gold mineral, quote unquote, in the Vuforia target. So you have to be able to identify what you're looking for and when, so you can actually get the correct information that you need. Uh, one of the things I forgot to mention when going through this is when we assign the location. There's also um, three constants that we have to put in to just say where the phone is on our robot, so that way. Once it identifies the targets, it can adjust for the position for where the phone is and return you an even more accurate location of your phone's position or robot's position relative to that Vuforia target. This concludes our fourth and final part of our OpenCV for FTC video series. 
If you guys had any issues with this process, or issues from any of the other previous videos, please be sure to let us know in the comments. If you have any suggestions for videos you would like to see us make, also please let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching.